This is the last class of my geometry course. Today we're going to talk about how to uh, calculate your grade for the course. And uh, before we get into it, I just want to say, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, um, a lot of people would say, well, th this is kind of stupid. This is not a real course, so why, why would you calculate a grade? Well, number one, this is a real course, and number two, grades tell you if you've learned the material yet. That's the purpose of a grade. Uh, if you if you don't get a passing grade in this course, then that means that you didn't put in enough effort, and that that's a very important information. Whatever effort you put into this course, it wasn't enough. That's very very valuable information. On the other hand, if you did pass the course, you know that uh, you know you've got enough. Uh, you learned enough uh, to say that you've uh, completed a, a geometry course. So grades are important, and you know this is a college prep school. And uh, guess what? In college, they give you grades. I mean, the purpose of this school is to prepare you for college. And one of the things that you can do is show students what a, a college course is like. And I've run this course like a college course. It's it's graded like a college course. It's organized like a college course. And it's, it's fairly, it's efficient and productive, not that all college courses are efficient and productive, but they're way more productive than the K-12 courses. So, um, you know, uh, that's the, that's the purpose for a grade. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about how to calculate your grade. It's pretty simple. As you can see, uh, we have 200 points for, for homework. And uh, we have 600 points for the, the six tests, 100 points each. And there were two parts to the final exam. Each part was worth 100 points for a total of 200 points. So all that adds up to 1,000 points. Now, some people might say, wait a second, how do I calculate my, my grade for the homework? Well, to be honest with you, uh, I mean, if, if I were, uh, you know, running this course, I, I am running the course, but if... if uh, you know, if I were actually uh, with flesh and blood students, what I would do is I would hire a grader and I would have the grader make sure that you do pretty much every problem and show the work and whatnot and so on and so forth. But in reality, most teachers don't do that. You know, for, for whatever reason, they don't want to pay a grader or, you know, whatever. For, for, what, for whatever reason, they just don't do that. Normally what they do is they just, they just give a quick look over the homework to make sure you, you did it. Now, if you're a parent and you're running this course for your child, um, you know, you can look at it. You can make sure that the student has actually done it. And in that case, you can be very, uh, uh, you know, you can be very thorough. But the truth is most teachers, they just kind of look it over, over quickly. You know, they don't see every single problem. So it's pretty easy to tell whether or not, you know, you've done the work. I mean, if you did half the work, then that's 100 out of 200, 100 points out of 200. Now, again, if I were with flesh and blood students and you didn't do half the homework, I would have kicked you out of the course, you know, long ago. So hopefully you did more than half the homework, but um, the you know you should be able to see roughly how, how much you did. So we're just going to give an example here. Let's say that you did three quarters of the homework, so that's 150 points. And let's say that these are your grades, uh, uh, your scores for all the six tests, and these are your scores for the final, and, and you add those up and you get 750. So uh, as you can imagine, 700 to 799, that's a C. So that means you did well in the course. You didn't. You didn't do. You, there's there's a lot of stuff that you that you didn't uh, that you need to work on, but you passed the course. If you got 800 to an 899, that means you did really well. But there's a few things you can work on. And if you got 900 to 1,000, it means you did very very well. Um, so good job. If you got 900 to 1,000, uh, and you might say, well, what if you got like 899.9? You know, what if you got like a decimal here, like 0.5 or something? What do I do then? Well, you can just round up, you know, just round off. If it's a 0.5, then that means you round up to 900. And if it's like a 0.4, that means you round down, which means you got a B. So just in case you're wondering about that, you know, that's how you can handle that situation. So as you can imagine, uh, 0 to 699, that's failing the course. Um, you know, this is just how it's typically done. Uh, you know, again, this is a college prep course. So if you didn't do well enough, you know, that's don't get all depressed about it. Just realize, you know, whatever effort you put in, it was not enough. And, you know, when it comes to math, a lot of students fail. 
You know, I'm not saying that you that it's okay that you failed. I'm just saying it's the reality of, of, of you know, the academic world. A lot of students fail math. You know, they just fail courses. A lot of students, even in the, the top schools, I mean, um, I went to UC Berkeley and there were all kinds of students that would fail. You know, they were some of the, the, the best students in the country. They were engineers, scientists, and the way that they do things at Berkeley, I don't want to get into that, but the way they do things at Berkeley, they just, they don't hesitate to fail you. Uh, students would get Fs, they would get Ds, and so it's not unusual to fail, but I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying that, you know, it's the reality of, of the way that they run things in the academic world. And I'm not saying that it's okay to fail students. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving excuses for, for the way that uh, universities do things. But uh, again, this is a college prep school. So, uh, you know, if, if you didn't, if you, if you didn't pass, that means, you know, whatever effort you put in, it wasn't enough. Now, if you got 700 to a thousand, that means you passed. And that's, that, that means that's, 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 that's a big thing. That means that you have what you need to, uh, uh, say that you completed a, a, a geometry course. Now, as I mentioned in the previous, uh, or in the, in the first class of this course, you know, for a long time, the geometry was not even required for, for, for most colleges. You know, it's just not, it's not required to go on to the next course, intermediate algebra. So I don't need to say, well, you know, you're, you pass this course, therefore you're ready to go on to the next course because, you know, much of, of this curriculum, the, the, what, what you learn in this curriculum is not really necessary for upper courses, but still, it, you know, there are some colleges today that do require a full geometry course, and you can say that you've completed one. Now, I want to tell you something very, very important, and that is if you did exactly what I told you to do, if you did all the homework completely, neatly, correctly, and kept an order in your binder, kept the, all the work in order in your binder, if you didn't cheat on tests, if you took those tests and you passed those tests on your own without help from you know a computer, a textbook, your parents, uh, another person, whatever. If you did all the things I told you to do in this course and you passed, then don't let anybody ever tell you that you did not complete a geometry course and don't let anybody ever trick you into thinking that you have to retake this course. You don't. You may have to review some of this material, but th you should never have to retake this course. Don't let anybody try to convince you that you have to retake this course that would be a horrendous waste of your time now if you again if, if you failed then what i would suggest because you're probably thinking well what if i failed what do i do you know what, what do i do at this point um well if you passed of course you just go on to intermediate algebra if you failed what i would do is i would go over the problems that i got wrong on the on the tests and i would buy a geometry textbook and i would just do more and more and more of those problems you may not have to buy a, buy a geometry textbook. You know, my I have a lot of problems in my problem sets, if you didn't notice. And you can just go over those and do them over and over and over and over again until you get it. And if you need more problems, you can just buy a geometry textbook. You can get geometry textbooks for like, you know, five bucks on Amazon. You know, they're not expensive. Uh, just be sure you get a good one because there are some really bad books out there. And, you know, if you want to know the difference between a good book and a bad book, you can just send me... You know, just just ask me, and I'll I'll talk about that later. But I don't really have, you know, I, I don't know if I want to talk about it now. But uh, if you're a parent out there or a student, and you want to you want to get a geometry book as a, a you know as a recommendation, then I can recommend some various textbooks. Again, it's really it's really the textbooks you want to stay away from that's the important part. So that's pretty much it. Again, if you pass this course, then you do not have to take geometry ever again. Uh, you know, I mean, it's really, I don't see any uh, situation where you would ever need to take geometry ever again. It's just not necessary. Again, like I pointed out in the first class of this course, you know, geometry is, is, is just not something that is really that necessary. The only reason you really take it is it, it's, it's, it's required for some uh, colleges. You know, that's, it's just a requirement you have to get out of the way. So again, if you pass the course, congratulations, and that is the end of my geometry course. And the next course after this one is Intermediate Algebra. And so uh, I'll look forward to seeing you 
in that course. Intermediate algebra is going to be, um, I'm going to uh, do that course. It's going to be on the same YouTube channel. So just go right to that course, and uh, you know you can take a break um, if you want to. That, that's completely fine to take a break. You can take you know a couple weeks or even a month if you want to, because you've done a lot of work in this geometry course, and you might want to take a break. So if you want to take a break, take a break. If you don't, just go right into intermediate algebra. But I'll look forward to seeing you uh, in the first class of my intermediate algebra course.